a little bit deeper for errors now. So let's look at a simple error function. Let's say we have only one bit error and the numbers are a and b. So we would have the s which is our sum and the carry out so let's see if you have one one if you add them the sum would be zero and the carry out would be one and the way how we demonstrate this in a circuit block diagram is that we put our input bits A and B and our outputs would be S and carry out and the inside would be the circuits so for this is for one bit and we can also assume that this bit can get this circuit can get some carry in so we would modify this to make it more general this is a this is b and this is c in which is your carry in that could come from another bit and you would still have your s and c out this would come from the previous bit Now let's think about a little bit more complicated example. Let's say we have a 2-bit number that we are adding together. So this could be, let's say, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So this would be S1 s2 so we have a 2-bit output with a carry out if we do this math operation so 0 1 that's 1 1 1 that is 0 and then we have the carry out 1 so when we do this operation we always look at okay 0 1 but do we have any carry in to this bit? So there is no carry in for this bit, but we have to put it here if we are designing an all purpose error. And this would be our C in 2. So this would come from previous bit. And this would be coming from A1, B1. So this was the previous one was a 1 bit error and this one is now a 2 bit error. What we will do now is to construct a 2 bit error using one bit errors so let's put our one bit errors next to each other and let's name this this is a1 and b1 this would be our c in one these would be this is C in 2 this is for the second bit 
A2 and B2 and the outputs would be S1 C out 1 I'm gonna call it and this would be S2 C out 2 so what we are doing is representing this one with this circuit and the second bit uh, with this one so now we have two bits of operation so we have our inputs and outputs but there is one one thing here that we need to do is to connect them because the second bit is second bit addition is dependent on the first bit because C in 2 is actually the carry out of the first addition so the carry out would go here then you, we would do our uh, addition so this would be bit 1 and this would be bit 2 so overall if you put these two circuits in only one circuit diagram we would have as inputs the first bit the, the, the first number the second number and there's a carry in which is actually carry in 1 we don't have carry in 2 because that's an internal node and then we would have our outputs which is S1 S2 and carry out now this is our 2 bit error and you, we went one step deeper to see what how they, we could form a 2-bit adder using 1-bit adders.